Well, at the beginning, I had a very um, violent relationship, which the person who gave me this was very violent and inclusive to the point of, um, since I didn't want to have no more sex with him, he would choke me to the point that I would faint, and when I would wake up, I would be, in other words, he'll rape me. And um, I got away from that, and after, like, after I find out, it was like six months after, and I just went all out. I'm here for a purpose. Since I've been so trusting, I have been taking advantage of all my life. And every time that it happens, the only thing that gets you up back again is only you. I, I don't even care for, you know, to think, you know, every day about, oh my God, this disease. No, I feel I'm just like you. It's just that I have, I'm gonna put it like a condition, but it's not in my way. Again, at the beginning it was very scary, you know, because my ex-husband was abusing me and he was trying to control everything. But once I got out, of, I got out there and I guess, Kind of, I owe it to a case manager I had at the time. Her name is Gloria Melendez. And I mean, I owe her a lot. I owe Gloria a lot for making me even stronger than I am right now and that I was. Because she opened my eyes and she gave me that strength. And that's how I just went out and just, just broke out. Everybody needs to get tested. There is no if and buts about it, you know. You have to get tested because you have to know your status. One, for your own health, and two, for the next person's health. Even if it's negative or if it's positive, positive, you get help. Negative, you help others. And I'm still here and I'm gonna continue to be here because let me tell you something, God, God got something for me and I know he does. There's a lot of stones in my, in my way, but I am going to clear all that out.